Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, as you all know, uh, well, some of you know, but some of you are now about to find out. Um, I recently moved to the UK because my family's there and I mean like the pound to the rand is really good. Thank you. You know, that's really good. So um, uh, I moved to the UK and I've been living in South Africa basically almost alone. Um, I did have relatives, um, but I was living in Johannesburg, working in Johannesburg. Um, yeah you know anyways um so there's no family member of mine in Johannesburg I was alone you know a couple of friends here and there but that didn't work out alone work yeah work out yeah you know alone anyways uh so uh <coughs> I recently moved to the UK and um the, the the brief background of this is that uh in 2001 my mom you've moved to the uk uh to come work for her children you know so that we can have a good life and then um 2007 we all came to the uk 2007 december but i decided to go back home to south africa because i already had a life there i had friends i had I love my family. I wanted to be in South Africa, um, live with my dad, whatever, whatever reasons I had at that time as a 15 year old. I, I quite don't remember. Oh, then the love of my life at the same time. <laughs> Times were good. But anyways, no. Um, yeah, well, I'm back here now. I just moved uh, two months ago and uh, I've just been <laughs> challenged with. Uh, ooh I've been challenged with. Uh, a lot of things which is good like i love challenges oh geez when they're happening i don't like them i'm not like like yeah oh my god challenges this is so good i'm just like why lord why why this is too much i can't believe you're doing this to me i thought i crossed a hurdle but here i am crying about the same thing or something different or no it's usually not the same thing it's usually like Oh, but I crossed that bridge last week. Why am I going through another bridge? You know, but anyways, like a, a wise man once said, oh, I love that guy. He said, there's a situation that prepares you for a situation. When you are in that situation, it's preparing you for another situation, which is a situation that will make better situations for your situation. You know? situation but anyways what we're trying to say here is that i'm in the uk and i am living with my family and no i don't live with them but i'm often around them and <clears throat> the biggest reason why i moved here is because i wanted to spend time with my family and you know i was alone in south africa i was so lonely guys uh oh i was deeply lonely and I was just like, yo, when I go to my family, it's going to be the business, you know? I'm going to live my best life with people who love me. And to be quite honest, I am. I am around people who love me and I'm living my best life. I am genuinely happy, you know? Um, oh, last week I said happiness doesn't exist. I didn't say it doesn't exist. I said happiness, you know? Just check it out, you know? But anyways, I am happy, like, but... Um... The challenge is, okay, today's topic is, uh, Jesus, three minutes and I haven't even said the topic. But anyways, today's topic is um, how to be comfortable with yourself around people. Um, I don't know if I'm the only person who struggles with being comfortable with myself around people. But to be quite honest, especially people who I'm close to, people who I care about, it's it's not easy for me to be comfortable and I, I think that's because of experience and traumas and all those things that you go through as you get older in life. Um, I realized that I've just grown a sort of anxiety around people. I don't know what to do right. I don't know how to be right. And I quite frankly don't even know how to accept the people I love for who they are. Like. I've been struggling to get to know my family once again, to get to know my mother, my sisters once again. And it's been a challenge when they were younger, when basically when my mom left in 2001, like I was a mother to my siblings for, from 2001 to 2007. And they came to the UK. I used to visit almost every year, but it was just a visit, like a month's visit. And I go back to South Africa. But now... I get to see them every weekend. I get to live with them. I get to see it all, flaws and all. And I get to be myself and flaws and all. So 
how this topic came about was that um it's just not easy to get to know people again the reason why friendships break up the reason why relationships break up the reason why you and your colleagues don't get along or it's just a, a, like you get home and this part is sore because you fake smiling every day oh hi janine oh janine you're so funny no like it's, it's, it's exhausting i'm not trying to exercise my face guys like all i'm trying to say is that it's hard to be comfortable with who you are to be yourself around people and it, it's it's gone to the point where i can't even accept other people for being comfortable with themselves around me i always I've, I've been so challenged of lately and in trying to change my mom, you know, I've been trying to make her something that I want her to be, you know, there's these flaws that she has and these flaws I have too, and they're beautiful yet they're, they, they, they're beauty marks. Like Sierra says, you know, like they've, they've got those spots of just darkness, you know, like you're just like, mm, this is, mm, you know, it's like, for example, um, I have this thing where I, I, I get it from my mom. She's like that, you know. Uh, I have this thing where I genuinely want everyone else around me to be happy. I, I forget about myself most of the time because I'm just so concentrating on everyone else around me being happy. I want them to be the best version of themselves. I want them... I just want a feel good around me. I, and to be quite honest yeah it's a bit selfish because i genuinely enjoy that it's i enjoy people feeling good around me i enjoy people wanting to be the best version of themselves around me but unfortunately i struggle with drawing boundaries you know and um i i, I take it overboard i allow it to go overboard to the point that when it's my turn to say okay well now i matter Hey, I don't draw a boundary. I draw a trench. I dig a trench to the freaking jails of Mexico because I'm wazi, you know? I, I was busy here saying, yeah, you go girl. You go my man. You go my friend. You go a brother, sister, whatsoever. I'm trying to make sure that you're happy around me. I'm trying to make sure that you are the best version of yourself. I'm trying to make sure that you love yourself. I'm trying to make sure that I find something great about you and I remind you each and every day because that makes me feel good and I like seeing you feel good. But unfortunately, I tend to not be able to draw the line with to get, okay, now is my turn. Do you understand? You know? So when I draw the line, oh, because I might come with a freaking, I don't know about a gun to the knife fight. I'm, I I just call, ish, bra Jay-Z. Yeah. Yeah, nuclear. Yeah, nuclear. Yes, yes. You know, because I'm just, you know, it's, 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 it's over now. It's like, it's overboard. So, with that being said, um, uh, I see it in my mother, um, in how she's constantly trying to please everyone. And I've been here just looking at her like, how dare you? Why are you doing that? You know, like, I don't mind. I don't mind her pleasing people because I do the same thing, but... I've realized that to her it's become life. She, that's her life, you know? And because I've made little adjustments to it, for example, I've learned not to please people at the expense of my own life. I've le I've made these small changes over time. It took a lot of lessons and all that stuff. I've, I've learned to draw boundaries around me and to make sure that even though I enjoy being around people and making sure that everyone around me is happy, I am able to, I mustn't get burnt while trying to do that because it's something I love. I'm not trying to change who I am, but I'm trying to change the after effects of it all. So I've managed to actually teach myself uh, and train myself how to, to sort of draw those boundaries. I've trained myself how to be at work, you know, like when, if I'm talking about things that matter and all that stuff, how to take the feedback because it's not always good, you know, how to understand people who don't want to engage in those conversations, how to sort of like be one with other people without overbearing, you know, and sometimes to not care whether people think you're overbearing or not because I have something to say or I have something to give and I want to share it. There are people who want it and if you don't want it, it's 
up to you you know like why bye bye boo you know so what i'm trying to say is that i've learned certain ways of doing things and it took time it took time and i've learned how to 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 to, 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 to just master this character of mine and i'm proud of that to be quite honest it was hard work i'm proud of that but in all of that who am i where is myself you know like i'm here trying to tell my mom don't be like that that's who she is i'm trying to i'm trying to coach my sisters and they're just like it's none of your business get out of my room get out of my life and i'm just thinking sweetheart if you don't do what i'm asking you to do you're gonna struggle because i am you i know you i understand you but at the same time here i am trying to fix everybody but here i am flawed you know and but at the same time i've also learned certain things about myself that i have managed to characterize and i wish i had someone who would teach me the way i am able to have the patience to teach people so with that being said, who am I? <laughs> you know, <laughs> when people say be yourself, like I was thinking about it today. Like I was trying to put my foot down with my sister, like a 20 year old. And I'm just like, I sent a message this morning and I'm just like, I gave her too much negotiating room. It was too much. <laughs> I should have just put my foot down, but I'm still trying to learn who to be around them. And then in that being said, who am I? Am I a, when someone says be yourself, what is that? You know, is it, is it the character driven? Is it the character, is the molded character person? Or is it who I really am? Because if I was truly myself, if I'm being honest, if I was truly myself and trying, trying to, to, to survive in this world and trying to make sure that everyone gets together, to be honest, this, this world would burn down. Like ser seriously, I'd be fired from work. Uh, so many things would happen because I would truly, 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 truly say the things I want to say and do the things I want to do without care. So when I'm being myself and I draw in the lessons that I've learned, the boundaries that I've created, and also try to understand the environment I'm in to know how to project or to get what I want out of the situation, am I being myself? I don't know what the moral or, or the solution to this is, but being yourself for me is just having the ability to to look back at the decision and say, I made a good decision. I like that. Whether the outcome is good or bad, I, you, you get to be proud of whatever it is that you took at that time. And you you understand why you did it and how it benefits you as a person. So when people say be yourself, uh, just be careful of not being what they think is the norm or the standard of being yourself. You know, because <laughs> everything has a norm in society. Being yourself is, for me, to be quite honest, there's levels, there's areas there's places, there's no way where I fake who I am. I do not fake who I am, but I limit. I, I absolutely limit guys. Oh God, when I unleash, you guys are going to go crazy with me. <laughs> but yeah, like, you know, um, I limit, you know, sometimes around crowds i'm a socialite entertainer 101 and I enjoy that. I'm enjoying myself. And the people around me like it. And then when I'm at work, still the same person, talkative, blah, 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 blah. But there are boundaries, you know? When I'm at home, I can't be like, I want, like I entertain, blah, blah, blah. but to be quite honest, at home, you get told off every second. It's just like, hey, shut up. Hey, uh -uh, not now, you know? When I start trying these speeches of, hey, uh, this is what we do, uh, you know, like to be a better version of, uh, 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 listen, I'm trying to, I'm trying to eat, dude, just get off me, you know, like this is home now, you know, <laughs> so um, I don't know what it is um, that I was trying to get across, but yeah, to be comfortable around people is quite a challenge, but it is for me only conquered by being able to look back at the decisions that you make and whatever it is that you say and do and just take it and, 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 and be responsible for it and, and take it and say, yeah, that's me. 
you must be able to to look back at your decisions and they must fulfill your soul you know they must fulfill you as a person that's what being yourself is um because there's no standard or norm you know you can't tell someone be yourself if this girl was a shy quiet girl and here she is uh, in jail you know for example and you're like oh be yourself she can't be shy and quiet she has to adapt she has to do something extra you know so being yourself is looking back and saying it's okay cool that decision fulfills me and it fulfills my character and that's what I can do in that kind of situation. That's what I am doing right now. This is what I feel like. Be yourself because whatever it is that you do, it fulfills you and you can be responsible for it. All right.